inside a television studio shows Phil Hartman and Jan Hook sitting in chairs. Hartman, hello and welcome back to Passionate Pundits, where each week one of our Passionate Pundits will critique the last Saturday Night Live episode. Joining us for this installment is amphibians rights activist Janelle Hunter, who has a penchant for sleeping with SNL cast members. Welcome, Janelle. Books. First of all, before we go any further, I wanted to plug my website, amphibianrights.com. And if you want to donate, on Twitter you can click the tip button at Heisenberg521. And that's where we are collecting our amphibians rights donations. And we need it terribly. Amphibians rights are under attack on a daily basis. We've had a very tough time recently. Hartman. Uh, and why is that? Hooks. Mammals have been systematically marginalizing amphibians for generations. Most amphibians live below the poverty line today. And despite that, we've had to deal with hate speech from mammals, mocking them by calling frogs toads and toads frogs. Hartman. Anyway, now that you've plugged amphibians' rights, let's get into last night's SNL episode. What did you think of the cold open? Hooks. Well, of course, this is why I need to be here supporting amphibians' rights. Because Herschel Walker, who was viciously lampooned during the cold open, is himself a champion of amphibians' rights. Hartman. Really? Hooks. Absolutely. And amphibians need a face to represent their recent struggles. And who better than the guy who once was traded to the Minnesota Vikings to cause the Dallas Cowboys dynasty? Leave Herschel alone. Hartman, you know he reportedly paid for an abortion before, right? Hooks, that would make me think they'd love him in New York. I thought they loved abortions. Hartman, I know some NFL scouts who weren't happy with Walker's actions. Anyway... What did you think of Kiki Palmer's monologue? Hooks. First off, I gotta say, I loved her Hooters. Hartman. Oh yeah, she's got a great set. And what did you think of her being pregnant? Hooks lifts her shirt up and says, Well, that's something she has in common with me. Hartman. Oh wow, congratulations. Do you know who the father is? Hooks. David Spade. I had a little tryst with him over the summer. I'll find out if it's a boy or girl in the spring. To be honest, I'm hoping it's a boy, so I can have my own little adorable Joe Dirt. Hartman. But you thought Kiki did a good job? Hooks. She sure did. She's been a supporter for amphibians' rights since she was a kid. And I laughed hard at her story about her mom getting after her with Lawrence Fishburne. Hartman, okay, very good. And what did you think of the first sketch after the monologue, Orsington's Ridge? Hooks, well, I got to say, I got a bit confused. Cecily and Kiki, when they were talking and stuff, I got it that it was kind of a dynasty spoof, but they seemed kind of different when they were fighting on the ground, almost like they were different people or something. Hartman, the conceit of the sketch was that there were stunt doubles, and it was supposed to be obvious. Hooks. No, I don't think so. It was definitely still them. Same clothes and everything. They just looked a little different. Hartman. Moving on. What did you think of the big boy music video? Hooks. I gotta say, I got railed by Chris Farley from time to time in the 90s out in Aspen. So this video really hit home for me. And it was funny. It was good to give love to bigger men. Hartman, how was Farley in the sack? Hooks, just as you'd expect, fucking hilarious. I had to stay on top, though. Hartman, what did you think of the Drake PSA sketch? Hooks, oh my, it was great. They were certainly singing my tune as Drake wrote the song over in my honor. Originally, the lyrics were... Making sure the young money ship is never sinking. About to set it off in this bitch, Janelle Hunter. But 
he changed it to Jada Pinkett. My understanding is his people didn't want him to mention an amphibian's rights activist in his song. Record label politics as usual. Hartman, since when is being an amphibian rights activist controversial? Hooks, are you kidding me? Everyone thinks Ye is tweeting about Jewish people, but that's why they keep deleting his tweets. He's really just showing support for amphibians, but there's a lot of people invested in keeping amphibians down. Hartman, let this serve as a warning. You are not allowed to bring up Ye. This is an unapologetically pro-Semitic program. Moving on, what did you think of the Hello Kitty sketch? Hooks. I don't think I can talk about this one. I'm so pissed Hello Kitty is a rapeless human child dating a cat. But I'm glad the city of New York stood up to her. Hartman. Here, here. How about the Keenan and Kelly video? Hooks. Well, this one was the personal highlight of the night for me. I was a huge fan of Keenan and Kel growing up in the 90s. They've been very generous to the amphibian rights community and to my coochie. Hartman. Excuse me? Hooks. Oh, I banged Keenan and Kel both dozens of times. A few times both of them together. Hartman. Wow, that's... Hooks. But I pull a Herschel Walker whenever I've gotten knocked up by either of them. No good burger survived my oven. Hartman. Wow. Wow. Again, this is an unapologetically pro-Semitic program. Do not bring up ovens. Anyway, God, this show could use a frickin' commercial break. Cuts to a public service announcement. Shows John Belushi in jeans and a red sweater walking on a path by a lake as he says, Hi. I'm John Belushi. There's been a lot of misinformation disseminated throughout the media recently that amphibians are under attack. Belushi kneels by the lake and puts his arm around Kermit the Frog, sitting on a log. Kermit. Hey, John. Belushi. Hey, Kermit. I'm just here telling people that mammals and amphibians get along great and always have. Isn't that right? Kermit, well, actually, amphibians used to encompass 99% of the Earth until mammals rose to prominent. Belushi stands up, walks away from Kermit and says, Thanks, Kermit. Anyway, if you want to donate to our cause, preventing the spread of amphibious misinformation, you can send your donations to Thomas Murphy on PayPal, who will then disperse the money to us, the dead of the Earth. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Hartman. Okay, we're back with SNL critic Janelle Hunter, an amphibian's rights activist with a passion for sharing passion with SNL cast members. Janelle, what did you think of the Arby's 5 for 10 sketch? Hooks. Those commercials have been on a while. I thought it was the actual commercial at first. And it was really funny. And then bringing Taco Bell into the mix. But with the lack of a position regarding amphibians' rights, Hartman, what are you doing? Shows Jan Hooks smacking Secretariat with her boot. Hooks, what? Hartman, ugh, what did you think of the musical performance? Hooks, I thought Kiki was incredible. It's tough doing double duty, but she pulled it off beautifully. Hartman, the musical performance wasn't by Kiki Palmer. That was SZA. Hooks. No, it wasn't. SZA hasn't been donating to amphibians' rights recently. Hartman. Uh, how about weekend update? Hooks. Well, the jokes were all great. The Biden with CTE joke was wonderful. I'm mad he won't give me the time of day anymore. He says I'm too old. As Hook smacks Secretariat, she says, But unfortunately, my old friend, Colin, mentioned moving the primaries to Florida and showed an alligator on the graphic instead of an amphibian. But I like Michael Longfellow out there. I'm still waiting to find out how long his fellow is. But I liked him talking about being a child of divorce. You won't believe it, but I didn't have a father figure growing up. Hartman. You don't say. 
books. And Sarah Sherman, as always, was laugh out loud funny, protesting a gay couple on Peppa Pig. Oh, she's amazing. I can't wait to, as she says, to do some mashing and mushing with her. Hartman. Oh, boy. So you swing both ways with SNL cast members. Hooks. Except for Victoria Jackson, who, of course, hates amphibians. But otherwise, yes. Hartman. Okay, and what did you think of the ultrasound sketch where it was Kiki pregnant getting an ultrasound with Bowen Yang and Sarah Sherman as her twins? Hooks. I thought it was maybe the funniest sketch of the night. Seeing the baby's arms reach out from under Kiki to accept the fast food order was horrifyingly amazing. I loved it. Hartman. I'm glad Secretariat made it home okay. See if we can avoid hooks. Amphibians? Hartman. Yes, we're almost home. What did you think of the choir sketch? Hooks. Oh, my God, I couldn't believe how amazing of a singer Molly Carney is. Hartman, you mean Kiki? Hooks, uh, she was okay, but that Molly's got a mighty voice. Speaking of mashing and mushing. Hartman, okay, moving on. I will skip Scissor's second performance to avoid the A word. And so finally, the last sketch of the night, what did you think of Hawaii Flight? Hooks, well, Kiki and Ego together were super hilarious. I loved it. And seeing Ego, Mikey, Chloe, and Heidi all out there together, that's some good-looking cast members. I can't wait to get one of them to help me raise David Spade's baby. And dead from the earth, we're not alive. It's Saturday Not Alive, starring John Belushi, Chris Farley, Bill Hartman, Jan Hooks, Norm MacDonald, Gilda Radner, Danitra Vance, and many other special deceased contributors. Musical guests, Tom Parker, and your host, Adam West. Everybody, Adam West. Applause, applause, applause. West, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it, thank you. Of course, you all know me as Batman, and I have appeared as Batman on this program from time to time. But in my acting career, I also played opposite Chuck Connors in Geronimo, and the Three Stooges in The Outlaws is Coming. I also appeared in the science fiction film Robin Caruso on Mars, and performed voice work on The Fairly Odd Parents, The Simpsons, and Family Guy playing fictionalized versions of myself in all three. Applause, applause, applause. West. So if you don't mind, for the monologue, I just want to avoid all the Batman stuff and keep it to my other work. Michael Clark Duncan as Robin comes out and says, Yo, Bruce, what you doing, G? Get up out of here with me. There's some new villain stirring some trouble up on the next stage. West. Michael, like I just said, Duncan, it's Robin, homeboy. Now you gonna sit here and pitter patter about Geronimo, or are you gonna come help me? Geronimo comes out. Applause, applause, applause. West. Oh, come on, Robin. You ruined my monologue surprise of Geronimo being here. As Duncan tosses West his Batman gear, West mumbles. I'm getting too dead for this stuff. Folks, if you can give me a minute. West dresses as Batman. Applause, applause, applause. West and Duncan run to the next stage where it shows Chris Farley dressed in green with Gilda Radner tied up in a chair. As West and Duncan enter, West says, What's going on here? Who are you? Farley. Me? I'm the evil frog or toad man, and I'm here to reincarnate Gilda Radner, unless Gotham City pays me a ransom. Jan Hooks as Janelle Hunter comes out, riding Secretariat, and says, See? Are you people kidding me? 
Frogger Toad Man? Really? This is exactly what I was talking about in the cold open. John Belushi comes out as himself and says, Now, Janelle, isn't there something we can do about this? Hooks, you were on SNL, right? Belushi, I sure was. Hooks, well then I think we can work something out. West, folks, I wish they had just let me stick with Geronimo. I believe I still have to save Gilda Radner, if they'll allow us to, despite the amphibians' rights people picketing outside. But we have a great show tonight. Tom Parker of the band The Wanted is here, so stick around, and you'll be glad you came. We'll be right back. 